Hello everybody and welcome back to the Moldy Worm Gaming Channel. My name is Moldy Worm 41975 and today we're going to be customising another one of the Los Santos Summer Special cars. In the last episode we looked at the brand new BR8 right here. It's an awesome vehicle, we customised that. Today we're going to be looking at the Declasse DR1. If you're interested in looking at the customisation for the Yosemite Rancher, the BF Club, the new uh, Coquette D10 or for the Yuga 4x4. I did a live stream the other day where we customised all four of those vehicles. There's a time card in the pinned comment and you can click and uh, choose which car you want to see the customisation for. Um, but let's go ahead and customise the, uh, the DR1 today. It costs nearly $3 million right here. It's a Declasse open wheel car which is really cool. We've not seen that before. Uh, I've already gone ahead and purchased the vehicle right here. It actually Actually looks really cool um, I like this thing it's probably my favorite looking um, open wheel car that we've received so far it does look really cool it handles really nicely and let's just go in and see what customization we have for this okay so the first thing we have is bodywork we can go for the mark 1 vented body which just adds this little vent down here We've got a carbon version of that, which just adds like a carbon surround. And then we've got the Mark II vents, and we've got that in carbon. Um, I quite like the Mark I vented. That looks nice. Um, brakes, obviously, we can do all that. Uh, we've got angled fins. We've got lightweight front wing. Okay, so that removes all of that. We've got the championship front wing. We've got the circuit attack front wing. We've got dual angled fins. We've got triple angled fins and quad angled fins. Um, so this is basically just like a bigger version of the stock one. I actually quite like the smooth lines of the stock one, so I'm gonna leave that on there. Um, the exhaust, uh, so the exhaust actually come out of the top there, which is kind of interesting. Uh, we've got the stock ones, which are chrome. We can go for aluminium, titanium, or carbon. Um, I actually just like the stock chrome ones the best, so I'm going to leave them on. On the livery, we've got Tenson Motorsports, we've got uh, NARC Racing, we've got the Atomic one, we've got the uh, Keltoa, I think that's how you pronounce it, Circuit, we've got uh, Demon Oil, we've got Redwood Racing, we've got Estancia Tobacco, we got Candy Box Racer, we've got Globe Oil, we've got Team De Classe, and that is it. Um, I don't know. I actually quite like this one, the Atomic 99, uh, with the red actually does look quite nice. Um, then we move on to mirrors. We've got the stock mirrors, we've got a carbon version of them, we've got lightweight mirrors, which are just smaller and carbon lightweight. Um, I think I like the lightweight ones. They look nice. Uh, the nose fin, we've got the stock, we've got, oh, so this is gonna be like on where the bonnet would kind of be. Um, we've got the short nose fin, carbon version of that. We've got the split nose fin, which is really difficult to see, but it is just like, imagine where the bonnet would be normally on a car. It's kind of there. We got a carbon version of that and we got a large nose fin and a carbon version of that. So stock is just smooth. Oh, you can have this line going up here. Um, I quite like the split nose fin. I think that looks just quite neat. On the nose panel, we've got the twin inlet. So this is gonna be like little ducts and things. We've got the large inlet. We've got geo inlet panel. Um, okay we've got primary vented and carbon vented so you can see it's just there um, I quite like the twin inlet panel that looks nice the respray so the primary color at the moment we've got red I actually like the red so I'm gonna leave that um, but the secondary color at the moment is orange which doesn't really fit the car um, so how does it look in white or maybe like black um it obviously changes this part at the back yeah i think the 
how does it look in red actually just just curious to see how it looks in red yeah i think i think we got to go all red it does look the best on the roof we've got roof fins so we've got the I'm just going to change that part there we got a carbon version of the stock we've got the split primary and split carbon we've got extreme roof fin and we've got that in carbon um I mean, we've already got a lot of like carbon accents going on around the vehicle, so I think we've got to go for the carbon extreme roof in. That looks nice. The spoiler, I do like the spoiler. It's very like neat. Um, it looks more like an indie car to be honest, but I do like it. It looks very nice. Uh, we've got the lightweight wing, which just removes that like flaring down at the back. We've got the attack wing, rectangular wing. How is that different? Okay, so this is gonna like add that little bit back in there. We've got the lifted circuit wing, which looks kind of similar to the stock one, and we've got the lifted box wing. I actually think the stock one is the best looking on this because it's really low down. Like these are all a bit high, so I'm gonna leave that on. We're leaving it very stock, but if it's the best build, I'm not afraid to go with stock parts. And then we've obviously got all the usual wheels. Um, the stock wheels are these like five spokes, which we can get anyway um, So maybe like a stripped version of the stock ones and then if we go for like a red accent like that So it kind of matches the rest of the vehicle and then we'll go for some atomic tire lettering to match that And that is the thing fully customized. So let's take it outside now and see how it performs Okay, so outside it is actually night time, which is not the greatest. This thing does look really nice. I have to say this is probably the best looking open wheel car, at least in my opinion. Um, obviously, it's got all the, uh, you know, speed recovery system. I can't remember what it's exactly called. It does turn really nicely. You can see here, you can take these corners flat out and um, it does handle nicely. As I said with the BR1 though, all the open wheel cars do handle fairly similar they're all fairly quick they all turn in quite nicely and they all sound quite similar it's just which sort of body style you want to go for and i think this um i can't even remember the name the dr1 here is actually the nicest looking uh, but that is going to do it for today's video. I hope you have enjoyed taking a look at the DR1 customization with me. If you have, then pre please drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you're new. We're going to be customizing all the new Los Santos Summer Special cars over the next few days. So if that's something you're interested in, then do consider subscribing. And uh, as I mentioned at the start, if you want to see any of the customization I did in the live stream, I will link it down below in the description. But that is going to do it from me today. Today. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.